So I shared a story about how my journey on simplicity started at last year's event. And so Joel asked me last night if I had another story. And I thought, well, well I shared a story last year. So I'll wait until there's like an awkward lull, and then I'll come up with a story. So no one has <laughs> raised their hand. So for me, uh, simplicity is a journey. And I, the everyday kind of funny things are really what make the difference to me. So I'm going to tell you two brief stories about funny things that, funny interactions you have with people when you're on a journey of simplicity in a way that doesn't make sense to other people. So the first example I give you is in Canada we have a coffee chain called Tim Hortons. It is throughout all of Canada. It is kind of an absurdly big deal. Um, like the lineups to get coffee in the morning is ridiculous. It's not good coffee, like it's just, there's nothing to be <laughs> about it, right? But, um, and every year they have a contest and it's called Roll Up the Rim to Win. So you roll up the rim of your coffee cup to see if you've won anything. And for those of you who are familiar with the church calendar, they always do it during Lent. They don't advertise it that way, but some people give up coffee during Lent and it, they've actually noticed it in their coffee sales and so they strategically put this contest over here during Lent. So that's a fun fact. Um, but, so part of of my simplicity journey is also doing things like, hey, how can I lower how much waste I have while well, carry around my travel mug with me? So if you carry a travel mug into Tim Hortons during Roll Up the Rim to Win time, and you get coffee in your travel mug, and then you try to leave, they will try to hand you an empty <laughs> paper cup. And you will say, oh, oh, thank you. I, I, that's why I brought my mug. But, but it's roll up the rim to win. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know, but, I, but I, bought, I brought my travel mug, but, 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 it's, but it's roll up the rim to win. <laughs> right. Yeah, but then that would defeat the purse of my travel mug. So anyway, I've had this conversation more than once in a Tim Hortons coffee shop in Canada. So that's like an, just a funny thing that happened. Hilarious. And then I told a couple of people this story, but on my way home from this event last year, I had everything I brought for the weekend in my backpack, and I flew um, from Winnipeg to Minneapolis last year. So on the way home, they gave me a card in the plane um, for, to hand the customs agent, and you have to fill out how much stuff you bought, right? Because there's a limit on how much you can spend in the U.S. and bring back, back and not have to pay duty on, right? Um, so I left it blank or I may have written zero dollars. You, you have to say how much you spent. So I get, I'm standing in line to see the customs agent. I've got my backpack with me. That's my whole, you know, what I've got packed. And I go up, and they have to look really serious, right? That's a job. Um, why are you in the US? Well, I was here for a conference on simple living. Don't want to go through thing. You didn't buy anything? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yeah, and the, he's like, nothing. He didn't buy a thing? And I said, no, I, that, I was at a simple living conference, right? <laughs> that, that, was the, that was the point, right? And, okay, so, um, so these, these kind of funny daily interactions, I'm sure happen to all of us. And um, I think it's funny to hear those stories too. I'd love to hear your stories like that as well. So. Oh.